Five Lessons from Entrepreneur Turned Investor 1. Doer versus Facilitator Early on, I have come to terms with the fact that I am only a facilitator. I can neither hope to have the depth on customer thinking, nor the context that the founder has on her own startup. As well-intentioned as my guidance may be, I put an honest caveat on my inputs to founders, telling them I know little and largely from my context as a founder in a different time and mostly a different space. Having said that, as an investor scanning the macro landscape and long-term trends, I may still be able to guide and answer some of their challenges from a different perspective. 2. Ecosystem Maturity The founders, the VCs, in fact, all aspects of the startup ecosystem have come of age. Just in the last five years, there has been a dramatic shift on every front, and not just in terms of the number of players or check sizes. Today, 22-year-old founders are sharper and more risk-taking than I was when I decided to start up at the age of 33, almost a decade back. All aspects of the ecosystem are advancing rapidly in lockstep, including know-how, networks, and startup talent further accelerating the trend of more high-potential founders starting up than ever before. 3. Feedback Loops In the founder world, we could float an experiment or an A-B test and get feedback, learn, iterate and launch features with very clear signals. In the investor world, true outliers could take over 5 to 10 years to show game-changing outcomes. So there's no immediate feedback loop available beyond perhaps analyzing startups that have shown some early product market fit or those who have raised the next round. In this second bucket, I will talk about the two things that I borrow and carry forward from my time as a founder to, now, my time as an investor. 4. Playing to my strengths, I handled three areas at Urban Ladder, technology and product, people and culture, and brand and marketing. I communicate clearly to our founders, right from day one, that these are the functional areas on which I can provide value. In addition to helping them navigate the tricky sine wave of a founder's life, both personally and professionally, I am able to focus my conversations and go deeper on these three areas. 5. Humility and curiosity One thing that has not changed, and never will, is the day one foot mindset I adopt every single day. In today's time, when practically everyone is becoming an investor and making bold proclamations across social media or other channels in a bid to get attention, I understand and appreciate the value of keeping level-headed. Not getting ruffled, even in the midst of FOMO-inducing news or the hype cycles, and being curious about every founder and every new space, is something that I will always center myself on.